What's up everybody, my name is 72727 and today we're going to be playing some Team Fortress 2. Uh, this is a little bit of the Halloween mod that was just released a couple days ago. I think on like the 26th. Uh, and it makes absolutely no sense. As you see, I came in here, this is my first time playing it, and I had absolutely no idea what's going on. And you'll realize soon, like right now, I, I, I became a bomb. And then there was a book that was shooting a green laser beam at my head, and then now I am a bomb. And I had no idea what to do since I was a bomb, and I still don't know what to do if I became a bomb again. But I charged at the pyro thinking that I would blow him up, but I instead just got burnt and blew up myself. But yeah, it, it made absolutely no sense. And I thought this would... This is a proper video to post. It's Halloween, and it's Halloween right now. So I said, why not play some of this strange Team Fortress 2 map? with this gigantic green guy that walks around and I just sat there shooting him in the face thinking that that would do something but it never did it never did a single thing even though I just did a thousand damage to him uh... but yeah I, I didn't even know what the mode I was playing I'm fairly sure it was king of the hill but I was too busy being distracted by everything that was going on of all the green lights and flashing things and people everywhere that it was it, it wasn't happening, the objective. And when I play Team Fortress 2, the objective rarely ever happens because I like running around with a scout or a snipper, shooting everybody in the face. And you guys all, you guys all know by now that I call snipers snippers because because that's just what they're called. And I will never change that. And if you have a problem with it, then damn it, <laughs> damn it. But yeah, this this mod is uh, it was a lot of fun though. I was mesmerized for like 15 minutes straight. But not as mesmerized as I just was. I just played Beautiful Katamari for about an hour straight. And listening, if you guys don't know what Beautiful Katamari is, you should probably Google it or I'll put a description of what the game is in the link in the link below. So you guys could like check it out and see. But I'm gonna be posting a video of it sometime soon. Uh it just has a lot of beautiful Japanese music. I don't know I don't know about beautiful, just interesting Japanese music that will gather that will like grasp your attention for ever. Like you will be you will be listening to that and being like, I can't believe I'm actually listening to this. But then, like, 25 minutes left, you stop playing the game, you're going to be singing it in your head, and you're not going to be able to ever stop. I just went on a little kill spree there because the little gigantic green guy ran away. And when the gigantic green guy is gone, everything's better. I just shot the pumpkin there, and the pumpkin exploded. I'm not exactly sure why that happened. Maybe the, the demo men or demo man turn into pumpkin shooting exploding people for this mod but I don't know like I don't know what this gigantic green thing was either I was just staring at it for a period of time at one point and I don't know what I just got killed by I think I just got killed by a demo man but yeah there was people running around with bombs on their head there were pumpkins exploding there were guys with ghosts behind them the, the new Team Fortress 2 update is definitely something interesting and worth checking out if you are a fan of the game and a fan of Halloween related things. Uh, and speaking of Halloween though, I am not the biggest Halloween person. I got a little story. Uh, when I was three years old, my mom took me to like three, from like three to five years old, my mom took me to like the scariest haunted houses in the world. Not in the world, I mean that's an exaggeration by 727 like he always does, but she took me to like the scariest places ever. Like, I'm from Chicago, and I'm not sure if you guys are from Chicago, or probably not. But there's a place called Navy Pier, and every year there's a haunted house there. And it's not for, like, little kids, like, at all. And all I remember was going in there and crying constantly. And I was just waiting for, just waiting to get out. Like, And I remember specifically one part where I walk into a room and there's a gigantic squid or octopus cooking a person and I thought that person was real I was certain like I was like 99% sure that I was about to get killed by a gigantic octopus cooking a person and as believable as that octopus kick, 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 the cooking a person sounds I ended up not actually getting killed just to let you guys know because I know you guys were wondering like if I actually did get killed what the hell am I talking about but that's the reason I I'm against I'm not against Halloween but I'm just Whenever I hear Halloween, like that's just one of the examples. And like the next couple of years, like my mom took me to like Salem, I think it's Maine, and I was frightened shit this there too. I was crying there. She just wanted me to be a fan of Halloween because she's a huge Halloween person, and I never was getting into it like she was. And 
Yeah. So nowadays, like whenever I hear Halloween, I get like the little negative vibe that goes along with it. I'm like, I don't want to do anything. Like when I was younger, I obviously took advantage of the, the trick or treating and stuff. But I never went to haunted houses. It's not even because I'm scared of them. Like I'm a huge scary movie fan. So like scary stuff, like I like. And right now I'm attacking this gigantic green guy, and he's shot me in the air somehow with his magical wiener and I am shooting him in the back and I, I'm fearless right now I just hit him with a bat and then he launched me up there and then I set on fire somehow and died but yeah I'm, I'm just not I'm not a huge Halloween person and it's, I don't I don't exactly understand why it's a holiday and I think everyone is against me but I do appreciate everyone and respect everyone's interest in doing whatever they want on Halloween and yeah I'm not gonna be a party pooper if someone wants to do something I'll obviously won't say no and go along with them. I'm going to thank you all for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all next time.